Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Happy Truth and Justice Tuesday. Um, I ain't gonna be long because I got a hundred thousand million things to do today, and I'm actually late on posting this, but I can't let another um Tuesday go by without doing the Truth and Justice Tuesday. Um, very interesting week. We've had um very interesting week. Uh, yesterday, a young fellow, 17 years old, was charged with four counts of sodomy in Montgomery. It's sad, and it's sad to read such negative posts about this child. Oh, what they gonna do to him in prison? This is black boy now. Black boy, black boy, black boy. Ooh, black boy lost. Black special needs boy. Then I hear about <laughs> South Lawn Middle and Bellingraph Middle School are getting um, asking for donations for ties because the boys are required to wear neckties. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So both of these have given me terrible headaches. Um, anyway, first things first, the failing school list came out last week. Bell and Graf and South Lawn Middle School were on the failing list. When Nick ties are not going to fix it, it's only 60 some days left in school. That's what I want to do to some of these idiots who come up with the dumbest things. This is a public school. Everybody in Montgomery County received free breakfast and lunch. Why? Because these count, this county is impoverished. Poverty. They've met the federal guidelines according to the USDA. You're sending children home. Some of these same schools who want them to wear neckties now because the children are wearing boots, not in athletic shoes. We spend too much of time on foolishness. What color shoes they're wearing? Boots? Asking their parents to come pick them up? Now you want them in neckties. You're still on the failing list. If you stop playing and get down to business, we can help these kids. They ain't at risk. They at possibilities. Stop calling them at risk kids. They at possibilities. We have to push that. They are at possibilities, but we have to push the possibilities of them succeeding. So it starts with the adults. Stop finding little things such as mom, come pick up Susie for wearing Uggs. It's not a part of the dress code. So if you're requiring boys to wear next ties, what are you requiring the um, girls to wear? Hmm? It goes both ways. The boys in the West. I think I saw on the flyer. The boys in the West. Hell, they got more problems over there in the Upper West, which y'all used to call East Side. Stop profiling and labeling these kids. Neckties won't do. If they don't have neckties, you're going to suspend them? That's not helping. What y'all can do. Because your Title I schools, open them up on Saturday. Use your Title I funds to oh, do that. Now, you don't want to do that. Football Saturday. You ain't committed to nothing. You ain't for real. Y'all playing. Well, let's just dress them up. Put them in a necktie. Stop playing. Open that school up on Saturday. Have Saturday schools. Wednesday, Thursday night spaghetti dinners. Y'all Title I school, there is funding for this. 
There is funding to do this. Where the parents won't come, have these spaghetti dinners. Lasagna dinner, pizza nights. They don't come because you don't involve them until something goes wrong. And then you want to be, get sported at the mouth when they come and try to ask you questions. And some idiot. Oh, Karen, all I see you do is blaming MPS. Hell yeah. Okay. Because MPS has married MPD. Whereby they can continue to arrest students. I'm looking at this 17-year-old boy charged with four counts of sodomy. Okay? And sodomy in Alabama could, can mean anal sex or oral sex. My issue is with this child, who I'm just looking at and who I've, you know, is a special needs child. It didn't just start. It just didn't just start. His behavior just didn't start. Well, where are the parents? This boy is with y'all the majority of the day. Where is the pattern that you've seen in this child that you didn't take the initiative to get some intervention for this child before it got to this point? That little boy who shot himself week before last, 15 years old. What was the intervention? Oh, it's on the parents. It's on all of us. It's on all of us. But when you go to the school and y'all don't have anything written down to document, because um, if you write them up too much now, if you write them up too much, it make the school look bad. Well, hell, uh, the school not reporting anything to the state superintendent, which doesn't know what's really going on in the school system. These pedophiles working in the school system who are committing sodomy on children. But because they donate to the athletic program or getting y'all whatever, they aren't charged with sodomy. They aren't given the punishment as these children. They're not. Now, I can I, I was just looking at this child, and I guarantee you. He wasn't given all that he was required according to Alabama Administrative Code 298-9. And yes, I blame Special Ed Director Katrina Johnson because on these focus monitoring reports, MPS continues to be out of compliance, okay? Out of compliance. Not giving these children the resources that they need. Montgomery Public School System has a contract with a psychiatrist. Miss Star, I'm going to have to call y'all, boo, because I've been asking for this for one of the children that I help who have continued suicidal ideations. I've taken him to uh, mental health. All you have to do is fill the form out. Let's get him with the um, psychiatrist, Dr. Saney. What the problem? What's the problem? Now you don't even return email. Y'all tell them. Y'all tell them. <clears throat> this is this is so serious that it's not even funny. Very serious. Very serious when principals or the special ed director, uh, <laughs> later over uh, support services, Sophia Johnson. Are not doing their jobs. But because somebody is friends with somebody. And it's election year y'all. Y'all better ask questions. Next week I'm having a forum. I'm focusing on education. And I'm focusing on uh, <coughs> these judges. I, I truly want to know on the state level. And the local level. level why has. MPS not been taken over, Dr. Bice, Ella Bell. Why hasn't MPS, with all of the sexual misconduct of the 
teachers messing with students. And I can say that because I know. Haven't been taken over. All the rapes haven't been taken over. We've met the criteria according to Alabama Code 290-1-2-0.2. Time advice. Matters related to health, safety, and welfare affecting persons attending the various schools of this state and their employees. Matters of health, safety, and welfare affecting the condition or operation of any facility utilized as a public school. A failure to comply with state and federal law. A failure to comply with the rules and regulations of the State Board of Education, State Department of Education, and any other state or federal administrative agency. Other matters seriously affecting education and educational interests. The above matters include investigating the number of MPS employees who have been reprimanded or terminated due, and this is me continuing on, to inappropriate sexual misconduct, inappropriate sexual relations, sexual harassment, arrest of black boys, especially black, uh, black special needs students, the number of suspensions of students, the discrimination of magnet students versus traditional students. That's just the portion of it. Also, I'm going to do part two of this because you need to listen on what's really going on in this school system and the cover-up. The cover-up is serious. 